Alright guys, and welcome back to Chernobylite. It's a great game, I'm really enjoying it. And I think um, what I should do, I've, I've crafted as much stuff as I think I can. I would like to get the air quality up a bit. As you can see, it's, um, it's a bit lower than it should be. Um, power is good, but this guy looks like he's just permanently urinating on the uh, on the stairwell here. Sash Sashko. Um, I, I think Professor. I'm going to use up some of my training points. So let's, uh, let's hey, do a little training Sashko, with him. Hopefully he's less patronizing right? than Is there our anything you can good teach friend. Me, uh, about, uh, about what? All right, not good Living friend. On the street? <laughs> I'm not offended. All right, I can he's show got this really cocky stance. To practice if you're serious about improving. Okay, so we've got parkour. Parkour! Reflex or patience. So patience gives uh, me more damage with the shotgun, which could be really, really useful. But um, the, the health bar increase, I think, is going to do me more favors, uh, especially if I get irradiated as we go. So I've got five points, I think. So I'm going to I'm going to go for a little reflex training. Let's do Fantastic. it. Fantastic. I'm ready to learn. Let's hope to God he's an improvement on Olivier. It's it's a long shot to be honest, but he can't be any worse. Life on the streets taught me that quick reflexes can mean the difference between coming home and coming home in a box. Sometimes it can help you dodge a bullet. I mean, not literally, but you can remove yourself from harm's way. Let's see if I can teach you some new tricks, old dog. First, breathe from the bottom of your belly. Slowly flex that diaphragm. Feel the air filling you from your toes to the top of your head. Now, don't hold it. Just release it. Not too slow, but not too fast either. Focus on your breathing and repeat the exercise three or four times. Okay, talk is cheap. I'm gonna fire the rubber bullets at you. You try to anticipate the shot and cover before you get hit. Got it. Right. Cover. <laughs> <laughs> that was fast. You're pretty spry for an over-the-hill pre-perestroika scientist. Take cover, <laughs> Okay, come on. You're getting good at this. Really? Is this all we got to do? Cover, Igor. Come on, aim. Nice moves, old timer. You still got it. Take cover, Igor. Okay, I don't like that he keeps calling me good old, to but still in shape. to be honest, he's It'll a lot more spiritual. Handy. Outstanding. You got the reflexes of a teenage gangbanger on crystal. <laughs> I take you into my crew. No yeah. questions asked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a teenage gangbanger. Hey, Igor, at your age, that train the right must side have of town. you way out. But you ticked all the boxes, my man. You should be proud of yourself. I am. I'm incredibly proud of myself. Thank you very much, Sashko. Well, I like him a lot more than that dickhead over there, Olivier. So, maybe we should remind ourselves of exactly why... Olivier is the worst kind of human being. What's going on, Igor? That there is around. Let me skip through and we'll see what training teach me some of your this patronizing asshole <laughs> can teach. No, there are no tricks or shortcuts. No, no tricks or shortcuts. I'll be happy to. All right, whatever. Uh, three skill points. Stunning is done. Perfect stealth. Perfect precision. Oh, I only have two. Oh, Olivier, I'm sorry, dude, but your training will not do me any good right now um so you can f off basically let's go use up the last two remaining points on some training with How things, Sashko. so what do we want do we want to run faster run away faster i mean i'm very good at running away or do we want to inflict more damage with a shotgun uh let's let's go with the the, the speed skill fantastic hey partner welcome to the maze this is a new trick and you're an old dog, but what the hell? It may even save your ass. You're welcome. <laughs> Please don't make me regret setting this up for you. It was a major hassle. Anyway, I get to test this train ground on you. Your job is to enter the maze and find the exit as fast as you can. But keep in mind, it will require some stretching. Just follow my lead and try to keep up. Ready? Yeah, Let's I'm go. ready. Let's go. So he looks like he's got the most ridiculously long neck. Like one of those tribes in Africa Drop your hips and who put those knees. like gold rings around their necks. Oh, I've got to be quick. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Lie flat on your stomach. I'm just gonna go as Crouch. fast as I can. Crawl. Faster. Oh, cool. Faster. I'm mightily impressed, Igor. Anyway, 
It's good to exercise at your age. Stop calling me old. Rejuvenating effect. You already seem ten years younger. Yeah, all right. Okay, so there we go. So we got we got some points in the bank. Or at least one, anyway. So let's uh, let's call it a day. We're going to go out on a mission now. Uh, new 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 perk learn parkour. Excellent. So we are now faster and healthier than we were when we started the episode. Day eight, the refuge. Now, usually when we begin a new day, there is somebody on the radio who gives us a little. Hello, Professor Kimanuk, Igor. Are you there? Answer if you can hear me, please. Hello? Yes? Who's this? The name is Oga. I live in the village in Red Forest. I've heard about you. I think we can help each other. I hear that a lot lately. I'm afraid you need to be more specific. Your distrust is understandable under the circumstances, but we have the same goal. Drive NER out of the zone. Well... I didn't come here to conduct a guerrilla war on corporate mercenaries. Yes, I know. You're looking for someone. So am I. Please come to our village in Red Forest so we can talk in person. Be extra careful on the way here, okay? The monsters, they mostly come out at night. Mostly. Okay. Finally, a female in the game. It is long overdue. We might get some sense, logic, compassion. <laughs> Regardless. Um, it's it's a nice it's a it's a really nice touch. Okay, a vi uh, this is my thoughts. A village, incredible. I didn't think anyone lived out here, so we can ask about the village or ask about Olga herself. Hey, hey, Olga, what you doing? Who are you really? Some bushwhacking partisan? I'm Olga. Me and my father Matt Bay take care of the refugees and Samo shells from the zone. That's all you need to know for now. Please come to the village. This isn't just about me. You'd be doing the right thing as well. I'll make sure to stop by if I get the chance. If I get the chance? Igor, it's the first chance you've had since we started, so I think we should we should give it a good go. What do you think? Right, we're going to assign away some missions. Oh, I gave, um, I think I gave Olivier, because <laughs> he needs all the help he can get. I gave him a shotgun. Um, he definitely needs it. So um, maybe we'll be able to send him on a mission he actually has a chance at completing without embarrassing himself so we can send him to explore Kapachi. nothing significant is currently happening you can still visit in search of food and resources Igor, uh, sorry olivia has got a 100 percent chance nearly of actually just exploring somewhere i don't know what he'll come back with so maybe we should give actually i'm going to give sashko this because he's got the highest chance of actually getting it done uh olivier go on just go out and explore feel at one with nature because that literally is all you've got um so i'm gonna go on one of these main missions shall we go and meet olga the red in the red forest i don't think i've ever been here a voice in the woods an inhabitant of village somewhere in the red forest she needs your help and wants to meet well who am i to turn her down i realize i'm leaving this one well behind but it's a girl oh hold on have i done this already yes let's do it we're going on missions as always guys and i, I, I want to thank you this your support in this series has been older? fantastic she seems to be running the show must be tough as nails and all these samo shields they say it takes a village to raise a child, but how many does it take to find a lost love? A lost love? You're talking about yourself, Tatiana. So, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, thank you so much for your support. I, I, I know a lot of people are really enjoying this game on this channel, and thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. You've got to let YouTube know it's worth watching. Day 8. The Red Forest in the afternoon. Isn't it beautiful? I like this a lot. The trees are only slightly irradiated and dying. It almost feels homely. Now, this uh, I've cleared out my inventory. I built some storage. I've got rid of a load of stuff. I've got my main weapons with me. Some rounds. One healing thing. That's about all I could use. Oh, okay. We've got a, our first place of interest. It's right up ahead. So I don't think... 
Fact, I should I shouldn't say that. I was going to say I don't think there's any items here. I really need herbs, so I will be picking up as many of them as I can find as I go. Yeah, I feel like we really are discovering more and more, and obviously that well, that is obvious, but it's uh, we're getting close to being able to solve some of the mysteries. Oh. Is that a soldier? I think we found another... <gasps> oh, there's a shadow right by him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's two... Oh, this place is filled with shadows. Oh, we are in for... A little bit of fun, guys. Fun, guys. As I was looking for mushrooms. Oh, okay. Do we bother with... No. Um, I can't use my... Why can't I use my... Oh, I've got no ammo for it. So I'm going to have to use my pistol on this fool. I wonder what headshots do to the shadows. Oh, it's, it's taken half his health. That's one down and another one chasing me far too closely. Get that off screen. Oh, it's taking you so why are you talking? Okay, just, I just basically hit him with the gun. Okay, very, very angry man. He's embedded in a tree. Is, is it him who's talking? Who's saying this? Another soldier. I can see your thoughts. Is this you? Find Are you the one I've got to talk? Oh, find me. Take my hand. Well, it's not of these two. You a new world. A world that you've never seen before. Who is talking? Oh, oh. dead. Stuck in Chernobylite crystals. Crushed. Suffocated. <laughs> it's going to batter him. It's melee time. Oh, it works well. Oh, look at that. He's dropped some armor. Hell, hello. A primitive armor. It's not bad, though. I should certainly give that to one of my uh, idiots. Six meters away. Four meters. It must be this guy. Or is it you? Are you the one who's been talking to me? No. Nope. Very dead. Well, at least my pistol is... is Turned up trumps. Uh, I suppose I should teabag this dude. Yeah, very dead. So where is the person who was shouting at me? Have we done it? Is that is that the whole? Oh, it is. That's basically the location. Uh, this is the voice in the woods, and we've got a couple of other. Oh yeah, quite a few. Semyon, I haven't spoken to him for a while. Um, I think we're done here. I'm going to have to traverse the ground across this way. Let's see what kind of goodies we've got. I was, I was kind of hoping there's such an open area here we'd be able to find more resources. Um, so let me just grab what I can while I'm here. More primitive armor. My inventory is full. You've got to be kidding me. It's nowhere near full. Oh, maybe it is. Uh, might need to do a little rearranging if I can squeeze in. Come on, drop, drop. Why won't you drop? Go down, go down there. That's it. So we should have, have enough room to take this, and hopefully, a few other items. So most of the other stuff, most of the other stuff, does actually stack. So we should be good. Don't want to go in this green fog, but I can go in it quickly to grab that and get back out again. Uh, and we're going in the wrong direction. This is the way, and it's straight through the fog, so I'm going to have to go take a bit of a wide berth around the outside. Okay. 
Okay, I might have to dip my toe in this green fog. Why can't I walk? Oh god. Okay. Seriously. Oh, radiation poisoned. Dude, get up. Get out of the... Oh, I just couldn't move. It wouldn't let me run. Okay, now we know. I hadn't had spent that much time inside inside those places. Okay, so let's use our healing salve. Get our health back up. We've got an increase in health, but that is not enough. My psyche is pretty poor as well. Alright, well I'll have to leave those items firmly where they are. Are there butterflies? There's something flapping around in the air. It's not my lips. I know I talk a lot. Uh, 59 meters. Ubada. There's a whole complex here. That it looks like I need to get into from the front. Alright. Challenge accepted. I really do hope it's as simple as just... Oh, look at the speed of me. I can run so much faster now. I can bravely run away a lot faster as well. Although, I think you'll find... I don't know you. What do you want? I'm Igor. Olga sent for me. Olga, some Igor jackass here to see you. You know this guy, or should I shoot him in the throat? It's fine. Open the gate, Marco. Well, Marco is clearly Philip DeFranco in... Uh, in disguise. I'm going to shoot you in the throat. Thanks a lot, man. Um, do we talk? Hey, hey! Heard you're one of the crew running around giving NAR the squirts. How many of them have you killed already? So you just heard that now, did you? In between threatening to kill me and letting me in the gate. Asshole. My reputation precedes me, but is it a good thing or a bad thing? Um, I should say it's me. Um... I hope this guy can be trusted. Let's do it. I don't even know. I don't like to dwell on it. So many you lost count, eh? Right on. Keep doing what you're doing and we'll win this thing. You'll see. Hmm. Very suspicious. I mean, he looks innocent enough. But you just don't know, do you? As soon as I turn my back, I have to find a bullet in it. Right, well, you've let me in. Oh, I see. I was going to say, but there's nowhere to go. We appear to be in some kind of lock. Oh, here we go. Look at you two. Olga, I presume. Professor Kimanuk, I presume. It's an ah. honor to finally meet you in person. We've got a lot of work to do, you and I. I'm here. What did you want to talk about? A few days ago, someone took our supplies. My husband, Kostia, went after the thieves. Now he's gone too. In the meantime, some NAR henchmen showed up claiming they have a prisoner they want to trade for something of value. And you think it's your Kostya? The description matches. I'd make the trade in a heartbeat, but as you can see, we don't really have anything to exchange for my husband. Impressive, but what is this place exactly? I'll ask about Olga. How did you end up here? What about you? You're too young to... Oh, to Igor. What? Remember the Chernobyl disaster? You're right. I came with my mom from Minsk after my dad died. I was a teenager then. She was a doctor who wanted to help the radiation victims in the zone. She met Matvey here and, well, they took a liking to each other. Then NAR arrived and came down on us hard. Fucking fascists. My mom disappeared. That was some years ago now. Matvey took care of me after that. Taught me everything I know. In Minsk, I was just an emo girl. Here, I'm the goddamn queen of the forest. Kostya came here two years ago with Doctors Without Borders. He stayed because of me, but yeah, the rest is really none of your business. Well, that's a bit harsh. So she's from, from Minsk. Isn't that, isn't that in Belarus? I think it's the capital of Belarus. I don't know why I said that. It's not even relevant. Um, okay. What about this place? What do you guys do here? I mean, I can already see there's another guard over on the left. She has her own bodyguard. This place you're running, it's really something. I'd never expect to find... What? Regular folks living in the middle of the zone? You're right. We're anything but regular. We're hunters. We know these woods better than the trees know the rain. 
Excellent. I think we'll end this conversation here. All right. I can see you're really looking out for your people. I appreciate that. I'll help if I can. I promise you won't regret it. For our friends, we serve fine vodka. For our enemies, we have shotguns. One more thing. These assholes who took Kostya, I'm pretty sure they have our supplies too. You want me to keep an eye out for the supplies too, huh? If you don't mind, but my old man comes first, obviously. Sure, sure. I live to serve. What? You just met? Alright, do we talk to the bodyguard? I suppose we should. Do I look like the chatty type? Talk to the woman in charge. Alright, dude. I was just trying to be friendly. Oh, look at that. A little wisp of water just appeared. So. Oh, and it just came out of her face as well. So these guys are obviously chomping at the bit. They're, I mean, they're almost dribbling at the mouth. Everybody here has got a mask. This one seems to be the most impressive so far, Mr. Butcher. What, are you lost or something? I'm looking after the piglets. Beautiful creatures. I named them, you know. Daisy, Dorothy, Frank, Mika, Jurgen, and Olaf, and Donald. Now with all the food gone, I have to... My God, tell me, who should I pick? Who must I send to Piglet Heaven? Who should you send to Piglet Heaven? Well, you named one of them Donald. Uh, I think that's probably the right choice. <laughs> the former president of your farm. Uh, he can, he can, he can move on, I think. What about you, barn guy? Beat it. Beat it. What, your face with a club? Okay, I, uh, challenge accepted. What about you, villager? Innocent, nameless villager? You wanna see Matve? Get in line. Who's Matt Everyone v? has to wait their turn. We're not barbarians here. We've got rules. Uh, oh, there's no one here. Is he out of his goddamn mind? You, uh, tell him you're leaving or tell him you'll stand in line. This is silly, but give it a try and see what happens. Yeah, go on then. Let's, let's humor the guy. Okay. I'll wait in line. Good. You see? That's how you build a civilization. One step at a time. Really? So, what do I do now? I'm just gonna wait here for a few more minutes, see if anything happens. Alright, nothing's happening. I can't, I can't do this forever. Um... So, I've gotta go back out there. Oh, who's this? The guard out there. Okay, that's fine. But I've gotta go back out here. Ah, the Voice in the Woods mission continues over here. Thankfully, it's close to another... position of... interest. Right. Let me uh, let me see if these guys have got any things I can steal, beg or borrow. Right. There's nothing here of any worth whatsoever. So I've got to go out and carry out a mission for them. I must say, looking mighty fine there, Donald. Or is that you, Donald? It's hard to tell the difference. Alright. I guess we have no choice. We can't talk to these guys anymore. So away we go. Uh, can I go now, please? Can you let me out? Oh, there we go. I have to wait for the airlock. in this general direction. Let's go. Pat, let's go. Excuse me, and make sure we pick up herbs and mushrooms along the way. I need to do a lot more foraging. I actually, you know the, 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 the herb garden or the one crate of herbs that I, I put down in my base? It did grow something. It grew a half a herb. I didn't bother to collect it. I felt like I was robbing the other herbs of some friends when they finally pushed through the ground. So I left it where it is. But it, they, it, it did work. I was wondering if it was ever going to produce a crop. But yes, the answer is yes, it does actually happen. Okay, we have got what looks more... Oh, okay, we've got the NAR soldier this looks a little bit more like a civilization more than anything i've found so far the building is actually mostly intact 
Uh, but we need a gap in the fence. I think it's hard to tell, but I think there's one right up ahead. So. Oh, I saw a yellow line there. I thought that was a laser sight. Where did he go? Oh, he's fine. He's still there. some resources lying around. I have to pick them up, but I really want to take this guy out first. Any of you buddies lying around? Oh, there is. And he's coming this way. I uh, also crafted some lockpicks. Oh, a padlock on the door. I wonder if we can shoot that off. I should have brought that goddamn power bar. Oh, I'm starving. But you needed a power bar. Must be all the working out. Right. That guy's turned his back. So is this one. There's another guy down the road, but he won't see this as long as this guy stands still. <clears throat> uh oh! Somebody else saw us! Yeah, I think we're in trouble. Yep, yeah, we're in a combat situation. I like that they don't shoot me while I'm in the animation of murdering their friend. <laughs> Very kind of them. Oh, mushroom. No! Move it! Get out of here! Shoot the what? She did a swore. Right. It's shotgun time. It's just one guy. One guy. Get him. Just one guy. I know. Get behind cover and shoot. Alright, he's on the left. But no one on the right. He's wasting his rounds. He'll come out eventually. Everyone be around at Tango spotted. Engage. It's us or It's all over, my friend. Thanks. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the memories. Alright. Another guy coming up. Four rounds in the chamber, ten in the bank. Oh, he's close. Right, what do I do? Do I rush him? Don't need to. He's coming to me. Right in the face, I think. I think we blew his head off. Oh my god, we did. <laughs> Beautifully done. Grab the rounds as well. In fact, that means I've actually got some rifle rounds. Why can't I select my rifle all of a sudden? Oh, I can. It wasn't in my hotbar. That's really weird. Oh. I need the alcohol, to be honest. I find myself saying this to myself in the middle of the night. No, <laughs> I could do with the space. Can these stack? Clearly not. I might get rid of this then. How do I... How do I dump it? Uh, remove? Yes. So, we'll leave that on the ground. I would prefer the alcohol. The one revolver bullet he's got can stay where it is. So, let me sort out this... Uh, quick menu. How do we do this again? Oh, oh, here we go. So, let's select that. No, not that! Oh, you... Absolute idiot. Well, okay. Alright, I've improved my condition. <laughs> but I didn't want to do that. So, you have to be highlighting the thing you want to select. And then hit... And then hit what? Quick menu. And then that. Right, there it is. So the rifle is now in my quick slot. And we can collect a few more things. As I said, I've got some lockpicks, so I'm going to have a little route around here and find a load of stuff. Oh, well, presumably find a load of stuff. Anything that even remotely moves. Should be able to stack up and buy a load of... Buy a load of... Collect a load of... Stuff under the train... There we go. The lockpick did its did its thing. Another shotgun. Oh, why can't I get through? Hmm. Game is being an ass. Grab you. Uh, yeah, I'm coming for this. I, I crafted five lockpicks where, well, before I came out. 
But I think... Let me just grab this. I think that this is a complete open space. Oh, look at that. Two metal plates. Fantastic. Now we've got to get inside this... Ah, oh, there we go. So I only needed one lock pick, but that's some food rations and some more. You little beauty. Okay. Sorry, we're doing a little bit of a random run around, but I realize now how important it is to grab as much stuff as you can in a single run through an area. Take those. He's just got the one bullet on him, which is why his body is lit up red, by the way. Uh, where next? Alright, we're very, very close to our target. What do you suppose we're going to find? Oh, well, there's more soldiers, or at least one. There he is. What's taking them so long? Damn village idiots! Take it easy. Remember, time is on our side. They'll come to us eventually. Alright, he's moved over. Oh, there's three he of them said here. They sent him to hide the supplies in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Why? Who knows? Oh, These God. people are bonkers. They've lived out here for Big years. Mistake. Swallowing radiation for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Must have messed with their brains. Anyway, we're in a good break and. Oh god, this guy's coming back. I'm in trouble. Ah! Uh, oh, why did I why did I do that? I should have just listened, let them disperse. Oh, now I've got to use my rifle. Oh god. Alright, that's one done. One done, thank you. Oh god. Oh, there's three more. What I wouldn't give for a grenade right now. I need a med kit. Do it, Igor. Patch yourself up, man. That should be full health, right? Med kits should fully heal. Oh, they don't. We're in a lot of trouble here. I don't know if I've got to wait for them to give up on me. But either way, I've got to reposition here. Oh, yep, yeah, we got one. He's done. Alright, took a little bit of damage, but I think we can afford it. Okay, I was joking. He's in there somewhere. God damn it. Oh, I think, I think we just killed that guy. Right, I'm, I'm about to ruin this. And I'm doing pretty well here. I hope one of them's got... something I can heal myself with. Alright, we got a headshot. That was... Oh, see, I should have been going for that a little bit more. Will one of you please... Have some healing salve on you, none of you. None of you came out here prepared. You were all useless soldiers, the lot of you. I think you should be able to eat mushrooms to heal yourself as well. All being fair. Oh boy. Alright, well I better find something decent around here to munch on. Well, that wasn't it. Maybe, maybe in here though. Some revolver ammo. I think this is the place I'm supposed to be. That worries me a little. We got a new clue. Hmm. This Kozlov guy seems to be important. Perhaps I should meet with him and ask about Tatyana. Kozlov. Okay. Well, at least we got some some new information. Got to get outside though. Right. There's a there's there's a there's a place downstairs I've got to go to, and I will be going. That is definitely where I'm supposed to head. But 
I just hope I've taken out all the guards. Mechanical parts, lovely. Please, for the love of God, give me some healing. No, got nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I've taken some radiation damage. My god game, will you just help me out? Chemicals as well. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to work our way through. I don't think I've got anything else that will heal me. Because you can't eat food, right? Um I don't think so. You can't eat mushrooms, which would make sense to me, but no. Uh we've got no healing items at all. I wonder if I can craft some. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, there's a storm coming. Uh, buildables. Uh, traps, mines. Oh, hang on a minute. We can offset the storm, can't we, with one of these things? Uh, space time disruptor. Wormhole blocker. Uh, making Chernobylite storms more. Oh, I can't build when my life is in danger. Get lost! Okay, no, 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 don't go back to base. Don't, don't panic, Igor. We, we got this. We got this. It's going to be fine. Calm yourself down, sir. Okay, we're going to have to go in this building and downstairs and just hope to God there is something down here that will heal us. Oh, this must be him. So it's you. Why did I suspect you were involved in all this? Please, help me. My people are counting on me to return with food. Haven't we had this conversation before? I was looking for our stolen supplies and got jumped by those thugs. They stole your food and then set an ambush for you? <laughs> that doesn't make a lot of sense. They're dead. You're safe now. Are you sure? Right, the whole thing is kind of suspicious. I agree. Ask what happened, ask about the supplies, or do I make a decision? All right, let's just find out a little more. You say you went after the thieves? How did you know where to go, exactly? What do you mean? I uh, followed their tracks. I'm a skilled tracker and hunter uh, since I was a kid. Really? Olga said you were a doctor. Right. It's, I mean, the way he's re replied as well, it is clearly a lie. Right, what happened about the supplies? What, where are they? What happened to the supplies? Must be somewhere nearby. We should stop and get them. I need to bring that stuff back. Why am I still locked up in here? Let me out and let's get back to Olga. I'll make sure you get the credit for retrieving the food. This guy is sketchy and gives me a weird vibe. Let's leave him here. If he's as skilled as he says he is, he can make it back on his own. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm going to leave him locked here. It's kind of believable. I don't think so. The guy's sketchy. You should stay where he is. Right, you're staying in there, man. The food doesn't wash. I think I'll leave you in there for now. What are you saying? Are you crazy? I need to figure out what to do with you first. No way. More of those fuckers could show up any second. Or worse. I know, dude. But that's the price you pay for sounding guilty. Okay, let me scan around here. Please. Please, please, please leave me something to heal myself with. Food rations. Well, I found the food rations. Uh-oh. What was that? Something green is glowing in here. Okay. I think we've just killed him. I think he's deaded. We don't need to tell Olga, though. We can lie. And just say... Oh, God. He's just teleported through the floor. So one of the shadows got him, but we do not need to say a thing. Didn't happen. Don't know what you're talking about. What do we do now? Uh, check the map is what we do now. I suppose we're going to have to go back. Oh, there's another location here. And we've got Semyon <laughs> upstairs. Sorry. Upstairs. Jeez. To the west. Should I head for this location with such low health? I 
and it's it's severely tempting. Let's give it a Nope. Radiation zone. Right, I think we're gonna reload <laughs> and then we're gonna pick up whatever this is. Thank you. Yeah, the storm coming. I've got to get out of here. Um, or at least hide. Nothing on the train. Okay, should we head back to Olga and see what she says about our misadventure? Yeah, let's do it. What the hell? I'm curious. I hope I get there before the Black Stalker arrives because he could he could turn up at any minute maybe they'll heal my bleeding wounds and at least if I'm inside the base they can protect me aha right close the door dude thank you right might be a good idea to arm myself I don't know if that means she'll trust me less, but let's do some talking and find out if we can lie our way through this. I retrieved your supplies. That's fantastic. What about the thieves? Just some NAR bastards trying to earn something on the side. They won't bother you anymore. Good riddance. Nobody will shed a tear for those parasites. You came through, Igor. You're a man of your word. One more thing. Kostya never made it back to the camp. Ah, if here you we go. happen to run into him, tell him to hurry. We need him. I need him. Oh, tell her the truth or lie to her face. I mean, she does seem reasonable, and she will understand, according to my inner voice. Or I could just lie to her. I mean, nobody needs to know, right? I don't know where he is. Sorry. I was hoping you had news. Well, Kostya's a big boy. I'm sure he can handle himself. But if you meet him, be sure to send him my way, okay? Okay, oh, we get a new... Oh, now, this is not a good way to start a good friendship, is it? Based on a lie. But the other thing is we don't know that Kostya was actually killed there. And I may have chosen a really, really bad option lying to Olga here. <sighs> Alright, let's see if she can join my team. She'll probably decline. She's in a far better place than I am. How about joining forces? Your people seem to have everything under control here. I could use someone with your skills and drive. And I could use someone who knows so much about NAR technology. Yeah, I think Madve can take care of things on his own for a ah. while. Lead the way. New I'll recruits. open a portal for you. Just don't freak out, okay? Quest completed. Voice in the woods. Olga, you're coming back to my place. It is a little unsettling, but I trust you. It is a little Hop unsettling. Hop on and enjoy the ride. I'll see you Hop the on base. and enjoy the ride. Oh, Igor, you charmer. <laughs> so, she's gone home. We've got the Queen of the Forest back at base, who only trusts us because we just lied to her. I'm beginning to think now that if she was going to be a natural companion or recruit, I could have done that without, without the the big fat white lie. White lie, fat white lie, at, at best. <laughs> right. Well, I'm going to head back to base and see how my other reprobate crew got on with their so-called missions. Fantastic. Well, that's three in the crew. Oh, that means I've got to build another bed. Olga could come and stay in my room. Just saying. I appreciate you joining my little team. If this will ensure the safety of my people, then it's the right thing to do. All right, this is excellent. So, it really is something extraordinary. Wonder how it came to be. Learn, learn more about the village. Ask how they deal with the shadows. I was going to say, NAR is only part of the problem. How do you deal with the shadows? We call them lurkers. They don't come around the village for some reason. I asked Matt Vey about it once, but he wasn't very forthcoming. Said something about specific microclimate of this spot. Microclimate, you say? Hmm. 
The important thing is that we're safe in the village, at least from that group of monsters. I trust Mave. His word's good enough for me. Okay, Matt V. Obviously, you really, really trust his opinion. Wait till you meet Olivier. You'll trust him even more. Learn more about the village, yes. Does it have a name? We just call it Matt V's place. Uh, initially, it was nothing but some old huts, but when those bastards started showing up on our doorstep, we decided to fortify our position. It looks almost like a stronghold. You think it could withstand an NAR siege? Not if they bring trebuchets and ballistas, but seriously, we're doing fine. Food shortages have always been the biggest issue. So I guess it's kind of a medieval situation? Shit. Okay. Ask where they stand with NAR. I think I think we're done for the day. Oh no, come on, let's one last conversation. How do you deal with NAR? Any way we can. Mostly with guns and bullets and knives and pretty much whatever can be used to hurry someone along to the grave. I wonder why they're so intent on harassing you. You don't bother anyone out here. We thought the same thing at first. I figured maybe we could come to an understanding and they'd leave us alone. We got the whole wilderness here after all. Some low-level mercs agreed to turn a blind eye, but then they started coming to collect. A tribute? Exactly. It started small, but then the fuckers got greedy. Naturally. They even wanted to borrow some ladies from our village for a party. Sounds awful. I actually volunteered. I said to Matve, I'm no lady, but I'll go. And <laughs> Matve replied, like hell you will. And then he told those NAR bastards to go to hell. Well, that's understandable. He's your stepdad. He was worried about what they'd do to you. Hell no. He knew if I went with them that they'd all end up dead with a mouthful of severed dick. Oh my god. I guess he wanted to avoid like all war for as long as possible. <laughs> you truly are something, Olga. Well, we are done for the day. Thank you. And I was joking about my Olga comments earlier on. If anybody was mildly offended with my clearly sarcastic comments. Now let's see how these. Uh, then I apologise. Let's clearly. Oh, sorry. Let's see how these idiots did. Uh, I I did well. Although I've come back severely injured. We can sort that out. Olivier. Oh, what a surprise! Injured again, Olivier. Injured again. Absolute useless ass. At least you managed to get me two herbs. The most valuable resource to me right now. Sashko. Congrats, man. Hundred percent. You are now rising in the ranks. Olivier, you've got a thing or two to learn from him. Olga, we'll see how you do, but I reckon nobody can be as pathetic or as useless as Olivier. Right, let's distribute the feud, food and see. Well, I suppose we have to give... Uh, I have to give myself a lot. Um, my psyche will increase. I think it gives me uh, good health. I've got 23 items. Um, and if I if I get if I use well if I give everybody double food rations we get down to fifteen. Uh, Olivier has to have that because he's pathetic. Um, Sashko, Sashko can have one and Olga can have one. We need more beds, but let's leave the food distribution as it is. I'm so, sorry, it's very distracting having all the blood pouring down the screen while I'm playing. <laughs> Um, guys, thank you so much. I'm gonna go heal up, obviously. Um, rest up, and it's getting far worse out there for the, s the shadows, and you can see why. Look at the Chernobyl plant, covered in Chernobylite. And apparently that indicates way more of the stalkers on the ground. So, we'll be back with more very soon. I hope you're enjoying the game. Don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you very soon. Take care and good night, guys.
What's shaking, Igor? I've been meaning to ask you something, Olga. Did you have close... Sure, we've always been a tight neck group, but it was very different. The exclusions... I was a spoiled, demanding... Bro. That's when Matvey took me, taught me useful... Sk Sounds like you owe him a... I do. And I had to get my life back, Matvey's kindness. That was very personal. Sure, you know... I'm I'd like to rethink... Sure, Igor.